there's two formulas that we've talked about for quadratic functions. We have vertex form, which is uh, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And we have standard form, which is y equals a times x squared plus bx plus c. So they're asking us to write the equation of the parabola given a vertex and a point, right? Now, we could, we've got to determine which formula. Both of these are a parabola. Both of these represent a parabola. They're just in different formats. But if we're given a vertex, do you guys kind of see where it might make sense to use vertex form? Because we know h and k represent the vertex, right? Yes? Yes. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that's h, that's k. So now I already know what h and k are. The problem is, what is my point? What should my point represent? So I have left y, x, and a. What should 1, 2 represent? That's an h and k. I might have just ripped my k back. So this should represent an x and a y. Yes, question? So y equals, we still don't know a. x, we can say, is 1 minus h, which is negative 2, squared, plus k, which is negative 3. I'm sorry, y was what? 2. So again, all I did was I plugged in my information, h, k, x, and y. So even though, yes, this is a form of a quadratic, this isn't going to help us because do we know what a, b, or c is when given this information? No. So we want to make sure we use vertex form. Now, all we have is we have an equation and we have one variable. So therefore, without looking at our phone, we just need to simplify this. So 2 equals a times uh, 1 minus 2, that's 3, so that becomes a 9 minus 3. Add 3, add 3, 5 equals 9a, divide by 9, divide by 9, a equals 5 ninths. So now a equals 5 ninths. Now I can just plug in the rest of the formula, the rest of the information. So y equals 5 ninths x plus 2 squared minus 3. Because remember, it's x minus h. Yes? Why did you put 9 in there? Because 2 is 3 and 9 is 0. Yeah, but remember, it's, um, sorry, this should be an extra parenthesis. You've got to do inside the parentheses first before you square it. So it's 1 minus a negative 2. Oh, PEMDAS. You, you have to do the parentheses first. That's, this is inside the parentheses. Anybody have any other questions on this? Does everybody write this down? Okay. Now, let's go and take a look at it. We know the vertex. is. Does this give us the vertex for that? Yep. What A is going to be, looks like that, is less than 1. So that would be a vertical, uh, I'm sorry, a vertical compression or a horizontal stretch, right? So you could say that would be a vertical compression. Is the graph still opening up or opening down? Yeah. Up, because it's still positive, right? So my end behavior would still be written just like that. Um, and actually, you know what, let's, um, well, I'll do that next.